Hey friends, welcome back to Ixion, where we are still in chapter three. Um, I mean, it is what it is. We're we're trying to work it out slowly. Our science team is opening a time capsule. Everything's running smooth so far. A science ship team has completed a task. Inside the tech capsule were toys and other everyday items. Several objects were of unknown purpose. There was a packet of newspaper clippings that revealed some of what happened after the Tycoon first entered self-similar space. There was a total collapse of Earth's ecosystem accelerated by the moon's destruction. In response, the United Nations installed a totalitarian government of planetary surveillance to protect the population from eco-terrorists and the continuous waves of pandemics. They prioritized corporate practices that supported the environment and its preservation. Individually, individual responsibility seems to have become paramount. Numerous legal ramifications were implemented to counter any further acceleration of the ecosystem destruction. In this time of crisis and guided by the government, society seems to have turned on politicians, extremists, immigrants, and conspiracy theorists, one after another, portrayed them as possible scapegoats, holding them responsible for 250 years of industrialization, market disruption, distru disruption, superficial societal practice, moral decay, and hyper-consumerism. The Entomonaki was to be the great arc, the global project that would save humanity. Only those deemed well-behaved in the eyes of the government would be allowed on board. The Ashtang guys, fanatics of mysticism and proponents of genetic manipulation were left behind on Earth with the deviants and dissidents. So Lena Lewis Waste Treatment Center. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal, right? We know for sure that the storm is moving now. That's just that's just plain as fucking day. Um. Is this side gonna? Oh, this side did open up to me. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. It's fine. I ain't worried about it then. Waste treatment center. What is this? Self cleaning lubricants. Power cost is reduced by five. Yeah, that's pretty useful actually. Let's uh, block the train station. Sure, why not? Each bay can hold 800 Caution. and some people. Entering debris field. Why? Ow, what? No. Oh. Ah, uh, just the body zones. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Need to worry about that. To the reactor zone. has arrived at its destination. Our sensors have located a section of the Entomonaki drifting in space. First reports indicate this wreckage was once the ship's engine room and reactors. We have arrived at the site. Only two of the Entomonaki's massive reactors remain. The initial reco uh, reconnaissance reveals three places of interest. Thrusters, the engine room, and the engine supervisor supervision area. I guess we'll just go down the list since it looks like we're supposed to actually explore these. 
And things can't possibly go wrong if we're supposed to do it, right? Right? Ten days of battery life. 4.3 and 5.0. All right. Yeah, we finally caught up on the garbage, at least. I mean, with as many minerals as we have to grind, it would behoove you, behoove us to use that. Oh, I should have paid attention. Wow, I almost fucked myself there. Let's import all the waste to sector three and let them automatically compensate for that. All right, we don't need a nuclear power plant yet. Yeah. That's on stability while the cult of Hull is propagating in the sector. Team has completed a task. Okay, well we can just hold off on that. History of violence, high capacity terraces provides one stability in a sector. The bonus can be extended to each sector connected via a train. Okay. Provides on stability sector, but reduces the maximum hull integrity by 25. So all of those are, well, maybe the exo fighting dome. I should build this as a healthcare center. Seems legit. The Antibonaki seem capable of achieving two different types of propulsion. The intra-system mode of propulsion has many similarities to Dolo's EKP. Cross-referencing mission data reveals a number of matches to the encounter near Saturn during the Tycoon's initial test phase. Their intrasystem propulsion covers many of the basic operations of the Vol engine. The team has noted that the remains of numerous acc accreditation areas, access to and knowledge of the propulsion modes seems to have been strictly regulated. The two reactors were damaged at the same time as the large superstructure and our analysis has revealed traces of gluon particles. Okay. Well, let's inspect the engine room. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. Okay, stop having accidents, please. No more resources available to mine. Well, considering we are coming up to the end of this side and I'm not sure what's gonna happen. How about we get inside the ship and just chill for a moment? Seem legit. Because I have a feeling I'm about to jump over to the other side of the map. The Antimonaki's engines were not supported by a PA or even basic AI. Instead, crew members were constantly monitoring, adjusting, and repairing the engines and thrusters. Their living conditions were extremely precarious, and it would see many of them were either prisoners or rejects from the population. On board the Antimonaki, traces of writing were found with some dormitory cells referring to genetic canatus and the ash tang guys. There are records of several serious breakdowns before the final explosion. Crew members would work waist deep in coolant, some dying while performing their tasks within the toxic substance. Those who refused were executed by their supervisors. Oh, that's fucky. The 
That's pretty fucked up right there. Could you stop getting injured, please? Oh yeah, we have the trains to build. Yeah, choo-choo, ride in. Come on, ride in train. It's a choo-choo ride in. Waste treatment center really does rip apart waste, so or the water treatment center really does rip apart the waste. A science ship team has completed a task. Nice. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay. The engine supervisor area was mainly occupied by those of rank. Some had time to enter cryopods before the apparent depressurization of the area. Analyze, analysis of the remaining computer infrastructure indicates that their directives were merciless towards the engine room workers. They treated them as expendable outcasts. There are traces throughout the entire there are traces throughout the entire supervisory district of hacking attempts. All ship computers dedicated to the engines and reactors were compromised, preventing the Antimonaki from maneuvering and causing power failures throughout the superstructure. The Eisenberg's team has managed to extract remnants of the computer protocols that were used to do this. These fragments of code point to an author, the BMS. Relevant data has been sent to the Tycoon's tech lab for more detailed analysis. Okay, before we hit that leave button though, Let's go ahead, hit avoid on that, and avoid on that. We got some silicone to pick up. And we got some ore to pick up. And we got the science to, of course, pick up. All right, what do you got? Health center, 40 power and 50 bodies but why is it so much power though god damn literally could put could put down what could put down 12 Well, uh, healthcare places and only be at 36 power. At, you know, however many bodies, 60? 60, 60 bodies? This needs, yeah, the health bay, health center needs a reduction in bodies and power by far to be worth. Otherwise, just keeping two bays or just keeping two infirmaries in each center is the way to go, even though you can connect to one place by train. time being administrator we have now have data to analyze the Piranesi hacking protocols the associated research project can be launched in the tech lab meh we'll get there when we get there oh 
us in an event. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just uh, cancel that for the moment. Wait for them to pick up those two little things. We are actually out of iron. I uh, feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully, the storm will continue to move on, and it won't just cover this area and say, fuck you. That is my hope. Did you really not pick up all the iron? Come on now. Alright, I ain't got time for all that. Alright, let's leave bring you back to the tycoon before bad things happen we are in the shit now son no get back to the tycoon you fucking mook tycoon move your ass out 4.6 cycles, Jesus. Caution. Entering Stellar Storm. My choices are... We have caught an electromagnetic magnetide. All and station damage is a certainty. That's a wild. Look, sir, should we go into the giant storm? Yeah, it'll be fine. I think that's the sun over there, but I can't be 100% sure on that one. It wouldn't make sense. Halfway there. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Nobody died. There was lightning damage. I don't like the look of that. We are clear, clear and uh, free of the shit show from Hush. most of it. Entering debris field. I'll take a damn debris field over whatever the hell we just flew through flew through any day. Body bumping good time over here. Let's go. Ugh. That's nastiness. Alright, so what we gonna do first is find that iron. Get out and get to work, boyos. A probe has completed its scan. Medical habitation. Docking bay. R and D has arrived at its destination. Who doesn't like R and D? Our sensors have identified part of the Endomodakia drift in the Kruik system. Initial readings show no sign of thermal activity, power signatures, or identifiable signs of life. This is the crew of the Eisenberg. This section of the wreckage is massive. We believe it's the remains of the research and development district. The laboratories we've seen look virtually look virtually destroyed, but we did find an intact uh, security room. A sign above the entryway reads RNA-8. To access the room, we need power from the Tycoon via the RTP. Fortunately, specific accreditation is also required. Accreditation. 
accreditation. I don't know why I'm thinking it. it's it's melting with acrid. Accreditation is also required to open the room's armored door. The neighboring residential area has collapsed, making the balance of this area unstable. We have spotted some emergency cryopods within the debris, though it doesn't look like there was enough time for a full evacuation. Well, let's break it down bit by bit and see what we find. Could you stop? Why are you on fire? Fire truck bros, what are you doing? Do you only work in the one sector, really? Are you of a serious nature for now? Are you of a real nature? Right at this particular moment. Oh my god. It is of a for real nature right now. Oh, the fire goes out eventually. Okay. Okay. Oh, we'll just wait for the fires to go out and then we'll do we'll do a thing. I figured unsurprisingly that the fire would cease or I won't say cease but the fire boy over here would do a thing like you know it's fucking job but no everything's just separated by sectors for no reasonable reason just, just to make things annoying the only possible reason. Assigned ship team has completed a task. Fuck. Most of what remains of the residential area is just shapeless metal. Children appear to have been locked in housing structures while adults turn to improvise weaponry in a fight against an unknown aggressor. Bodies that the team came across had either been crushed by debris or sliced by cutting laser. The team did find some intact cryopods and also located the quarters of the techno supervisor for the area, higher in rank. Their dwelling was of much larger size and filled with unknown technology. The security key has been recovered. Search that lab. No, oh, now you want to go out. You want to make it like that, do you? Uh, not ideal. Still gotta build it. Fire is just spreading from one structure to the next. A science ship team has completed a task. Absolutely do not do that right now. I said don't do it right now. Warning. Ship's Low done. Below we're fucked. Oh, we are so fucked.
We are so fucked. Okay. Administrator, the deplorable state of the hull has activated an emergency desis system to avoid total disintegration of the station. During the concepts of the tycoon Masaru Nii integrated the system into the station's core design in case of a hull breach. It is a single-use prototype, and expanding metallic foam has been e injected into the double hull of the station. It will hold back the tycoon disintegration for a short sure time. The hull must be repaired in a matter of urgency before the foam dissipates. Okay, how long do we got? Now you're done with the fires, you fucking assholes. To, it had to. It had to go right from there to the alloy or alloy boy. No more resources available to mine. Uh, pause you. You're not important. I need to get those repaired. We need to move uh, these alloys over. We need to get our hull up. I didn't expect that to happen. Everybody gets one, I guess. Unless, you know, later I get fucked. I just got spider man Just I just got spider man Everybody gets one. Not ideal. To say the least. I didn't think oh, the storm was going to set shit on fire, or I would have been paying attention to that. Next time, I know. Laboratories were severely damaged by the Anamanaki's depressurization. Most equipment has either been destroyed or is missing. The team found clear traces of laser cutting. Floors and walls have been ripped open. The R&D district was a secure area studying not only space-related phenomena, but also technologies considered forbidden by the UN. Recovered research reports mention Dolos AAM BMS and Ashtangite invention being studied. Open the security room? Sure, why not? Let's go. That was bad. That was bad. I did not expect to fail that bad. Did not expect to fail that bad. Not what you want to have happen. Most definitely not what you want to have happen. Fires on the station are bad, okay. Seriously, there's no reason for these all to be sector separated shits. Though that fire truck should respond to anything on the station. It's real fucking dumb that it doesn't. Like, of the levels of dumb that it is, I can't define for you exactly how dumb, but it boggles the fucking mind. Mind has been boggled. Bogglized. Uh, all right, what do we got going on over here? 
Scattered files on the floor of the security room contain warnings about prohibited nature of what is stored in the area beyond. Behind the further door, behind a further door, a long chamber was filled with filled with occupied dolus cryopods. Numerous data disks full of scientific information were also discovered. These finds are of incredible value. Yeah, shoot, be gone, Storm. Unless it decides to come back and be a dick. What are you? Orna 8. Research cost for upgrades reduced by 10%. Yeah, let's do that immediately. All right. A probe has completed its scan. I think we're just going to wait. We're going to wait to do anything until such time. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. <laughs> until such time as the shit keeps on blowing up. Space rank two, woo! All right, let's turn that bitch on. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Get our hull repaired as much as possible. Preliminary analysis suggests that this section of the Antsmanaki's wreckage contains the remains of a medical core district, care district. We have arrived on site, and we estimate that two-thirds of the district is missing. Remnants of cooling pipes have generated a haze that hangs about the debris and hides the floating corpses of the Antimonaki's crew. We have identified two viable areas for investigation, the ruins of the research facility and an area devoted to medical care. Let's check out what's in the medical care area and see what the what is about. Docking bays, load and unload 30% faster, hull repair is 10% more efficient. No, it's 20 more percent more efficient now. Once we get, once we get the hull done, since you're just fucking useless apparently. That's not where they're at. The district is in ruins. The Heisenberg's team had to stop several times during their investigation to clear away debris. Violent clashes appear to have taken place across the district. It seems that even before the attack, the medical capacity of the Antimonaki was oversubscribed. Cover data suggests that congestion within the ship's core centers worsened over time. The team was able to recover a number of intact emergency cryopods. Investigates the researchums facility. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Now what? Among the items recovered from the Ornai 8 security room was a prototype supercomputer. Based on the PA architecture, it could be integrated into our tech lab. Computer systems, Stanford protocols do not discourage. Stanford protocols do discourage the use of externally sourced lab equipment. New technology upgrade. 
Alright. Which we already researched anyway, so I don't know why that was that late. Why is one not? Hey, we'll go to other sectors and put fires out. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the refineries upgraded, strip out that one iron boy, and put something else in there maybe. The facility has been constructed from more resilient material and alloy than other parts of the, of the ship. Most of its outer structure remains. A lot of internal hardware does seem to have been laser cut and ripped out. Our team was able to extract some information from the few remaining data consoles. A sealed stasis box was discovered containing what could only be described as test subject. Having reviewed the associated research reports, the team believes the experiment used Ashtangai technology, genetic material taken from charred leaves, subject ZY6073, as named on the outside of the stasis box, appears to be alive but dormant. Test subject is the size of an adult male and is currently dormant. The Eisenberg team proposes transferring them to a cryopod and bringing them back on board the tycoon for th further study. I'm going to say no. I do not deal with uh, weird. A probe has completed its scan. Amalgam-based test subjects of charred leaves and whatever. to the habitation sector 2.8 cycles we're gonna move out of the corpse pile as that seems I don't know to be the wise thing to do a science ship has arrived at its destination uh, our sensors have identified a section of the Antimonaki drifting in the Krux system. Initial readings indicate that a large amount of floating debris is present in the area. We have also detected heat signatures. Heat signatures, electromagnetic missions, and weak radio signals deep within the wreckage. We are currently unable to decrypt the signal. This is the Eisenberg's team. We've entered the habitation sector wreckage. Many mutilated bodies and cryopods float in the void. We have been able to pinpoint the exact area of the unusual readings.
get that out of the way first. Probe has completed its scan. Yeah, we're just gonna worry about our refiners, and then I guess we can start working on the ships. didn't it? A science ship team has completed a task. A probe has completed its scan. Damn, it's a lot of pods. We have finished our evaluation of the cryopods. We were able to recover a large amount. They're ready for extraction. The recovery area is horrifying. The body parts that are floating are mostly from civilians. Dwellings within the habitation sector look more like slums than real housing. Population density must have been extremely high. Some bodies show clear sign. Some bodies show clear sign of disease and malnutrition. And pushing deeper we go. We're going to need to chillax then on these for a moment. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Uh-huh. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. Making progress through the metal debris that lies everywhere has been difficult. The Antimonaki has been constructed from a, from a range of extremely strong alloys. We have come to an area of fallen debris which forms a precarious cave around us. Two paths onward are possible. We could pass through a large section of pipe that has been laser cut. Temper analysis, temperature analysis shows the cuts. Temper analysis, la, 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 with the words. Temperature analysis of the cuts indicate they happened some times ago. Alternatively, there is a reinforced tunnel leading away from here. Its sides are covered in bullet holes. We could continue using the drill rig, but one of these paths will surely save us time. Proceed through the reinforced tunnel. I mean, if you meet anybody with guns, uh, my bad, but I have my doubts considering the state of things. All right, we're not in the corpse field anymore. Uh, we've got to build up our stockpile of polymers again. Stanford Initiative Workshop. All right, we'll do that. It's fine. A science ship team has completed a task. While walking through the tunnel, uh, we activated a 
A new request awaits your attention. Oh, now what? Well, we, we activate a trap, presumably left by the Intimanaki's defense force. A deluge of debris fell from above, yet fortunately our suit exoskeletons allowed us to avoid fatalities. There were no signs of any Entomanaki survivors. At the end of the tunnel was littered with corpses of soldiers killed by cutting laser. Exiting the tunnel, we found a small shelter cobbled together from surrounding debris. Within it, a number of broken drones, shaped like deep sea creatures floating in the lack of gravity. They bear the BMS logo of the Black Market Society. This is the first time we've seen machines like these. We've transmitted schematics and data and proposed further analysis of the drones be conducted back on the Tycoon. Within a small recess at the back of the shelter, we found the corpse of a soldier with a now spent breathing device. They had tried to modify one of the drones to produce an improvised heat source. He's been dead for several days. The weak radio signal was transmitting from their suit. Emergency beacon, we presume, in an attempt to contact other survivors. Oh, that's just the uh, storm's almost gone. Fuck you, storm. Thank you. Goodbye, bitch. Okay. Administrator, we now have enough research data to analyze the Pernacious drones. The associated research project can be launched from the tech lab. A probe has completed its scan. All right, what do we got? Looking 896 for each sector. We got days. Uh, what I could use is waste production from buildings, from residential buildings, I should say. Because if we can, if we can get water to the point, it's always... Accident has occurred in the typhoon. I can't even with you. If we can get water to the point where it's always running, then it doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing matters at that point. Besides the alloys, I guess. But even still, if I can get enough waste production, even that wouldn't matter. All I need, all I would need is enough waste production for the alloys to... Or waste production to one of the things to get enough alloys to repair the ship on a timely basis. What is this? Water consumption is reduced by 25. Power cost is reduced by 30. Fusion station, fusion station. Aqueous assembly line, ice preparation workers. Workshop, all augmented building protocols. Destroyed docking bay. A science ship has arrived at its destination. The information we found in the Antimonaki's command center has allowed us to locate its docking bay. 
We have arrived on site. This part of the Antimonaki is a real piece of Swiss cheese. Paradoxically, there's little debris surrounding. After a rapid survey, we have identified two areas of interest. A still accessible docking port and a communications area. Augmented building protocols. Base preparation workers is what we're trying to get down to from what I, I gather. Search for days at the moment. We ain't even done yet. I love it. All those, all those research bombs definitely out. And there's a lot of resources here as well. You could just be here for a while. All honesty. A science ship team has completed a task. The communication room is a theater of atrocities. Frozen, frozen severed body parts float everywhere in a grisly spectacle. The team found that the Antimonaki had implemented a system of non-computerized communication in the battle. The UN crew had discovered that the messages they were sending and receiving via devices and hardware in this area were being tampered with. This falsification of information caused a cascading series of accidents, prompted the move to a new communication system. Something was hacking or mimicking the Antimonaki's communication protocols perfectly. Investigate the, the bay. Or the probe has completed its scan. Whatever that was, it told me to investigate. One hundred and two percent. Oh, we're almost tight on food. Mm. Accommodate forty percent more crew members each meal. Intelligent design crop farms. deal with that food issue before it becomes an issue. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. This is the Eisenberg's team. We are stationed by the docking port. It has accumulated a huge mass of debris at the bottom of it. Broken vessels, corpses, damaged cryopods, all have been frozen in a horrible amalgam. Ships have entered the port too quickly, crashing inside while attempting to flee. The docking bay came under heavy projectile fire, which tore open the hull and breached the protective plating of the Antipanaki. We discovered an intact, unexploded BMS missile embedded in the wreckage. We should investigate this further. Initiate control detonation, defuse the missile, or transport the mission. Well, the intelligent one would be defusing the missile, of course. Yes, bring a live missile onto your, your, your ship for me, if you would. What? It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong?
Well, thank you. That is so kind of you. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. So each one can do 700 crew members from the looks of it. That's fine. We have managed to defuse the missile. The technology contained within is not only more advanced than that aboard the Tycoon, or even the Entomanaki, but it is of a structure and logic belonging to a completely different scientific paradigm. We have transmitted the data and schematics to the Tycoon Tech Lab for further analysis. The electromagnetite has passed through the CRUC system, oh, and the yeah. Tycoon is still online. Congratulations, Administrator. Barely. Barely, by the way. Uh, I, I failed technically. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that I did not. A perfect storm of bullshit happened, and it was not ideal. center over here you do not because it was not expected no it was expected and administrator we now have enough data to analyze the Piranesi missile technology the associated research project can be launched via the tech lab with this we should be able to set up countermeasures to protect yourself against the Piranesi weaponry you hope he says has completed its scan. No wonder. No wonder. Not been getting as much trash as I thought we should have been. Industrial enzymes is up next. So with all these bumps to crop production, do you think it it outpaces algae farms if you upgrade them all the way because you were like what four hmm. you were four water for 3.6 food last I remember okay hold on hold on hold on so it's production by 30 percent so that's what we're researching and we have 4.3 food per cycle. Let's see what happens. Four point seven food per cycle. So these are actually up upgrading the algae farms as well. How about that? So anything that says food production is actually a boost to all food production types. Crop farms, that's specific. All right, that's specific, okay. Food productions, food production. So that's interesting. Cell housing, post. Decryonization treatments. Okay. 
Okay, so that's interesting. We got 195% food. I think we're good. Nothing sciencey to pick up in this system. So it is just a matter of finding all the stuff that I left, breaking the bodies out of sleepy mode, and going from there. Even with, um, even with the 250 malice from bodies, it's still positive. I love it. Uh, you know, I don't really need to worry about resources all like that. It really is just about efficiency upgrades now. It's not even... Yeah, there's so many stability plus modifiers, it doesn't even matter. Has occurred in the tycoon. Yeah, there's a surprise. Yeah, there's so many efficiency plus modifiers at this point. All right, uh, what are we gonna do now? I guess we're gonna go to P34, and that is 43, not 34. Because I'm uh, blind. A probe has completed its scan. Yeah, I'm sure it has. That is its job. Its only job is to scan you late stuff for me. Yeah, I'm making up words. I don't care. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Our probe has discovered an unusual electromagnetic signal transmitting from beneath the surface of P-34. Signal shares many similarities with one our team identified from Rokotansky comet in the Morton system. This is the Eisenberg's crew. They've landed on P-43. The electromagnetic signal seems to be transmitting from below the planet's surface. We only have limited amounts of time to investigate our suits and the Eisenberg's hull are compromised by the corrosive atmosphere. Uh, recommendation of demolition charges to accelerate excavation process. Yeah, go for it. Blow that shit up, son. Have fun. All right. So, uh, I think it is time to take a break, however. So y'all stay safe out there. Have a good day. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit to continue.